What's up everyone? Welcome back to Go Kart Build video number 9. And um, what you just saw me throw is all of my homework papers from the midterms that we just got done with. Um, we literally just got done with a month straight of midterms. So for the past four weeks we've had a test every week so that is why I have not uploaded very many videos. I apologize to those of you who follow this build quite closely, um, but I'm hoping that the videos are going to ramp up here soon. Basically, um, we finished our last midterm yesterday, and this weekend is going to be a all-out build weekend, like full-on get things done. Um, the plan and the goal for this weekend is to have a rolling chassis, have the shocks mounted, have the wheels mounted, and being uh, uh, and have it where we're able to push this go-kart down the street. And if we get to that point, I'll be so stoked. So basically what we're going to be doing tonight, um, so this is going to be the first video of this huge build weekend. The content for tonight is going to be us um, setting up and welding the little suspension tab pieces to the frame. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll get it in a few minutes. Um, but basically, we're both really excited to be able to work on this again because I haven't had, I haven't touched this go-kart in like weeks because I've been so wrapped up with school. Um, so enough of me jibber-jabbering. We're going to go ahead and get right into this build, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys didn't already see, Will is down here for the weekend, so Hi. he's going to be helping me out. So let's get to it, guys. All right, so we got Will here, and he's going to go ahead and inform you guys on what we're doing on the computer real quick before we get to all the building and welding. So to give you a little background, today we are trying to put the, as, he, as Andrew said, we're going to put the mounts, the uh, tabs on to mount the suspension arms on today. Uh, and what I'm doing right now is we adjusted slightly the amount of space we're going to put between the back of the frame and where we put these tab mounts. So right now... I'm just going through uh, and adjusting some reference geometry and adjusting where these, because uh, when you're in an assembly, you, you have to mate parts and reference geometry and mate parts to other parts just to make it all look nice and ready to go. So what you do, what I'm doing now is I'm just making some planes at two and a half, two point two five inches in from the back. Uh, and that, what plane is that? That's the most recent plane I've made. This paper right now, I just gave him. I, this is what I got on AutoCAD because mm -hmm. it's easy for me to move things around. For him, it's a little bit harder because he's got 3D and I'm just working in 2D. So he's taking my dimensions from the 2D thing and importing it onto our 3D model so we can have the um, an updated 3D model for when we print out the design. And also, we're planning on getting a 3D model built from a 3D printer. Yeah, I, uh, right now I'm working on a project at UC Irvine with the Solar Decathlon team. And I am on the 3D printing and material science team. And so I have access to some 3D printers. And we want to print stuff so that we have things to show. So I'm going to print us out one of our, our models here when we're, when we're all set and ready with it. Hmm. And it's going to be pretty, pretty darn cool. We'll show you all that later. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up on the computer, and then once we do that, we're going to get to the actual fabrication. Well, that's why I didn't resolve anything. It's All right, while Will is finishing up on the computer, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys quickly what our little workshop setup is going to be like. Um, so basically, when we do these suspension tabs, um, I wanted to raise the frame off the ground because um, the way the welds are from the welding shop is they're pretty thick, and so they set the frame um, not to be perfectly uh, flush to the ground when it sits on the ground. So we go, went ahead and propped, them up, propped the frame up on these two boxes, one from the miter saw and the other one from the welder. And as you can see right here, that's going to allow us to weld those suspension tabs on while um, they're held up with the magnets. So that's going to help us be able to weld those so they're nice and straight because these have to be very precise and we have to make sure they're perfectly straight or else the whole suspension arm design thing is not going to work the way we planned. And yes, those are all the papers I threw in the beginning of this video, so I got to go clean those up. But just want to show you guys really quick um, our little workshop set up for the video tonight and the videos to come tomorrow and the rest of the weekend. Alright everyone, so we just got the first tab all measured up and uh, mounted temporarily with the magnets. And we were very precise in making sure that our measurement was correct. So what we did was we measured from here and from our AutoCAD design, it was 1.75 inches from the front. And then since these edges are kind of camper, they're not 
or champ? Is it campered? Campered. Campered. No, champered. Right, champered. champered. Whatever. Uh, so it's 1.75 inches from here, but since it's not a perfectly straight line, I just wanted to double check and make sure I was measuring it right. So we just measured 0.75 inches from the inside part because this tubing is just one inch wide. Um, so we got that all set up. We made sure it was pretty square and straight, and I'm gonna go ahead and weld on each side to make sure that it stays in place, and then I'll weld the top and bottom. did the each side. I, the reason why I did on the sides first is just because I didn't want to have it pull up or down when I did the weld. So now if, if this is still straight, then I'm going to go ahead and do the top and bottom and then that one should be good. All right, here we go at the top. I just want to fill you guys in with um, kind of what's been going on right now with the fabrication. So we finished welding on the first two tabs on the front uh, part of the go-kart and what we realized was after feeding the, uh, the round tubing through, the holes didn't exactly match up so we couldn't get the tubing to go all the way through. So what we've been having to do is take the Dremel tool with a very fine little bit and kind of ground away the, the holes that we drilled through with the drill press so the um, round tubing can go all the way through and Will's going to be on the Dremel tool while I do the welding and uh, he also has to kind of remount the holes on the actual suspension arms themselves just so the tubing can go all the way through and I'll get some shots of him doing that so you can kind of better understand what I'm talking about. So Will here is going to be grinding down the holes as I just mentioned to allow the tubing to slide through so he's got the Dremel tool and um, he's just gonna be kinda using this little bit to ream out the hole. And the reason why we're using this versus like a drill with the same size bit is we wanna be precise. We don't wanna take off a whole lot at one time. Um, we wanna do it a little by little and just see, you know, keep seeing if it fits. And if it doesn't, then we just ream out a little more. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, start grinding this up. So Will's going to go ahead and take this tubing and try and slide it through and see if it goes all the way through. Oh, you weren't having trouble earlier. What's up with you now? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it goes. And it's through. Alright. So see this tubing right here, 
Um, this tubing is going to actually be welded to the suspension arm and then a bolt is going to run through that tubing to allow the suspension arm to pivot. So if you're a little bit confused on what I was talking about earlier, that piece that Will has in his hand is going to be welded to the suspension arm and then there's also going to be pieces welded onto those tabs we were um, uh, putting on earlier and then a bolt will just run right through that. So it's looking pretty good, it's shaping up and I have some other things to show you that I was working on on the cart as well. All right, so I just showed you guys what Will's been doing, but I kind of wanted to fill you in with what I've been doing, and it's pretty much the same thing, but just on the actual go-kart frame part of the, the building process. Um, so Will has been um, reaming out the holes, but on this one, so I just finished welding these two tabs to the frame, and we were kind of thinking, okay, well, we're gonna have to you know, ream these out just like the last one, but luckily this went right through, right through the suspension arm and to the other side. So this is pretty cool. This is gonna be what the front suspension arm looks like when it's pivoting. And so what we're gonna be doing actually is we're gonna measure this up to this side so we have a quarter of inch of tube sticking out on this side. We're gonna weld it, measure a quarter of inch over here, weld it, and then weld the inside as well and then just cut it. So it's all lined up before we even cut it so we don't have to worry about um, parts misaligning or things like that. So um, this is really cool seeing this because um, it's just a big step on things coming together for the go-kart. All right, so right now we are mounting up the, or just kind of mocking up the rear tabs and kind of getting a feel and making sure that the spacing we measured out for the rear suspension arm that is sitting right there um, works well. So. Uh, Everything's going well so far, so I'm going to go ahead and get these welded up, and then once I do that, um, we'll, we'll either have a job or not have a job based on if we need to remount more holes. Yep. So let's go ahead and do some more welding. What do you think? Okay. What? No, I thought you were waiting. No, you're good. Looking good. Mm -hmm. I figure when I do the bottom, I have to like brace my hand like this so I have like points to hold it on, or else yeah. the logo is going to jump around on me. Right. It's raining. It's a raining. We're gonna get flooded out here in California. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give him a look through what we see. Hmm? This is what I see. Go on. If you want me to do some here, I'm more than happy to.
Alright, last one. Nice. You good? Alrighty. Alright. Let's go ahead and test this. That might still be pretty hot, so just be careful. Fails, use a hammer. Ready? Mm hmm. There we go. Hey, all the way through. Alrighty, pound it. Nooks. Now it's stuck, but. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we just gotta test it with the suspension arm. That's the next step. Yeah. So let's test fit the suspension. Give it a solid, just give it a bit of a hammer. Just get it through. There you go. Go right through there. And you just need to get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey! Bingo. Look at that. Swing. Full. Rotation. Full rotation. That's how much yeah. travel we're gonna get, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna be driving know, upside down. We're gonna be driving down. upside down. You gotta make sure you get a lot of pressure up here. That's sweet. And then when for some reason the road becomes like curved, the yeah, wheels can just go the in. The wheels can go in now. <laughs> that's how shocks work. All right. Sweet. So we didn't have to do a whole whole, whole lot of no, not a whole lot of that. Work just on just that one. one little a little bit there. And I think when I weld these. I'm gonna weld inside here too. Yeah. I'm like weld mm -hmm. outside and inside. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get full rotation on the inside. No, I know. You'll That's be able fine. to get some part, bits of it. All right, let's rock. All right. All right. So now we got the other side, and then we're. Let's go. All righty. All right, everyone. So we have finished fabrication for the night. So. What we have done is we have mounted those tabs, those tabs, and all the front tabs. And they all fit very nicely with the round tubing through both the tabs and the suspension arms together. So we are ready to go for tomorrow. We got a good amount of work done tonight. And um, I mean, it is like, what, 2.30 in the morning, so we don't wanna be up too late. And I gotta edit this video so I can put it up for you guys, so. That's all the fabrication we're gonna do tonight. 
All right, everyone, so I just showed you guys a little bit of an overview of all the fabrication we did tonight, and um, that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, we're just gonna wrap it up and uh, call it quits for the night and start early in the morning and start shooting the next video. Um, everything went pretty well, like I showed you guys. We just had to ream out a few holes to get the things to fit um, all the way through. Um, and other than me getting a nice um, welding spark in my ear uh, when I was welding upside down, everything went smoothly. So uh, it's pretty awesome because these suspension components are like the first moving parts that we have on our go-kart. So it's really cool to see that, even though you know they're pretty bare for, at the moment. Um, so we're hoping to get a lot of progress done tomorrow, and we're going to uh, film all of that and share it all with you guys. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you, haven't already, if you haven't already, subscribe for more, because this build process is going great. And um, I hope you guys have a good one.